Aston Group, alongside the London Borough of Waltham Forest, have been developing the first retrofit property in the borough. It's a four-bedroom, end-of-terrace Victorian property, and it had an EPC rating of E before we started work. Clearly, its energy inefficiency reflected its age. The challenge we set ourselves was to improve the EPC rating to a band A, while reducing the property's carbon usage by approximately 50 tonnes of CO2 over 30 years. Our first step was to survey the building. We carried out a number of efficiency tests, including air pressure and thermal imaging. This helped us identify exactly where the house was wasting energy and losing heat. Utilising a fabric-first approach, we looked at the core issues identified by our testing, using the data to begin resolving structural heat loss problems. We fitted a new, modern front door, ensuring a better fit and thermal performance. We installed smart ventilation bricks in the walls of the property. These bricks use algorithms that work alongside real-time weather information and air quality data to allow them to automatically adjust, maintaining a better living environment. We insulated the external walls, fixing a layer of rock wool, then covering it with a special render. It was essential to preserve the Victorian brick facade, so instead of using external insulation on the front of the property, we applied it internally. To reduce heat loss through the roof, we increased the thickness of the insulation in the loft of the property, ensuring it was in line with current building regulations. We applied underfloor insulation to suspended flooring. Using an innovative robot called Qbot, we were able to do this without needing to remove all the floorboards. We upgraded all windows in the property to low E-coated glass. This provides triple glaze performance in a double glazed solution. Once these steps were complete, we were ready to move on to installing the energy efficient technology that heats and powers the house. We chose an air source heat pump as the preferred source of heat and hot water. It's more energy efficient than a standard gas boiler, extracting heat from the outside air to provide hot water for the home. It uses electricity to run and can extract heat from air temperatures as low as minus 15 degrees. We installed a mains pressure storage cylinder. The heating is delivered through radiators designed to work with the low operating temperatures of the heat pump. We fitted a mechanical ventilation heat recovery unit. This takes stale air from wet rooms, such as bathrooms and kitchens, and uses this to heat cool, fresh air as it's fed into the property. We fitted solar panels to the roof, along with a battery storage system, allowing any excess energy created by the panels to be stored and used at a later date. Further excess energy that can't be stored feeds into the national grid. We installed smart power sockets. They allow better management of energy demands, scheduling usage and controlling appliances remotely. Smart LED bulbs were installed throughout the house. They help reduce usage by enabling remote access and allowing lighting to be automated. A shower heat recovery system was installed. This uses residual heat from waste shower water to preheat the incoming cold water. Outside, we created an eco-friendly garden, introducing flowers and plants to help attract and sustain a healthy habitat for local wildlife. All of these changes come together to deliver a sustainable, modern and energy efficient home. They showcase just some of the ways retrofitting a property can improve the environmental impact of our housing. The work undertaken on the property has successfully changed its EPC rating. Before the house was a band E, it's now a band A, substantially reducing the property's energy use and carbon emissions. Whole house retrofitting will play a huge role in how we deliver low carbon homes across the UK. Every single retrofit property we can create will play a role in lowering our household emissions, helping drive us towards our goal of net zero.